How's everybody doing today? Bully gang, bully gang, bully gang. Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully, where I like to talk about dogs, man. Preferably your dog <laughs> and mine. You know what I mean? And today, I was just like tripping on a few dogs I was looking at. I wanted to see their pedigree, like uh, Black Jack. I just wanted to see Black Jack's pedigree. <clears throat> he comes all the way back, man, from off a dog named Black Bear. He came from a long line of dogs. You know what I'm saying? And most of these dogs was gray line dogs. You know, only his gray line dog you ever really hear about is the notorious Juan Gotti. There was way more gray line dogs that I can't even name that was, you know, that was showcasing it, man, headlining it, you know what I'm saying? They was doing it for, for Grey Line for a long time, you know? And Black Bear ended up creating a dog they called Diamond Jacks. He was a black dog, too. Black Bear was a black dog. And Diamond Jacks was a black dog when I looked him up on the internet. And Diamond Jacks, he bred to a dog named uh, Starfire. And I didn't get to see her pictures. I didn't get to see her. Mostly black. Matter of fact, I did see Starfire. She was mostly black with a um, with a white with a white chest and white legs. You know, white on her neck. Starfire was. So, so that was a, um, <clears throat> they came from Black Bear. Black Bear created Diamond Jacks, and he was black, and Black Bear was black. You know what I mean? And then Diamond Jacks, he ended up breeding a Starfire. And she was black. That's crazy, huh? Because um, they made a gray dog. <laughs> They made a gray dog. Two black dogs. This is what's said to be now. You know what I mean? I wasn't there when the breeding happened. Now, I didn't see the breeding and none of this stuff take place. But this is what's said to be two black dogs. Diamond Jacks and Starfire made a gray dog. I don't know how that happened. It had to be, you know... <clears throat> something in the line because you know like I said I never seen Diamond Jack's dad um, Black Bear I never seen a dog he bred to to even create Diamond Jack's maybe she could have been gray but when these two dogs bred they created a gray dog I don't know you know the pedigree behind it they created a gray dog you know I would like to know how two black dogs created a gray dog. I would really like to know that. I mean, not saying that it couldn't happen, but two black dogs create a gray dog. Yeah, I would like to know that too. Face the bully, you know what I mean? Like, what what dog did Black Bear breed to? Was she, you know? I don't even know uh, Diamond Jack's mother. So, you know what I mean? But uh, Diamond Jackson, Starfire, yeah, they both created a, a gray dog. <clears throat> and both these dogs were sired by Black Bear. Black Bear was both of these dogs' dad. They just had different mothers. So it's kind of like a half-brother, half-sister breed, you know, from the gate. Black Bear sired Diamond Jacks and Black Bear sired Starfire. Black Bear did both of them, so it was like a brother-sister breeding. Um, and from that litter, you know what I'm saying? From that litter came the famous dog, Grandma Showtime. <laughs> and everybody be talking about Juan Gotti. But Juan Gotti, when I look at them pictures... Showtime is where all of that came from when you look at it. 
I mean, Showtime was bad, man. She was a bad dog, man. She was a big gray line dog, too. Okay, and and uh, Blackjack, he's not even here yet. And we've already had gray line breedings. Nobody talks about gray line no more. Nobody gives gray line, you know what I'm saying, uh, they props. You know what I'm saying, as being, you know what I'm saying, the inventors. <clears throat> people who were there to invent the American bully. You know what I'm saying? So, dumbass shout out to Grey Line, man. You know what I mean? Because everybody talk about they got candles, but one candle that you want to leave up out your mouth is Grey Line. Because <laughs> that's, that's real. <laughs> we know about Grey Line. And when Showtime popped out, a big old gray dog, she was big and she was gray, and she showed the traits. Of nothing but like pit bull traits and Staffordshire traits. She was tall. Had a nice head. She didn't have all them wrinkles that you see nowadays. You know, I like the dogs that you see nowadays. They they beautiful. Beautiful dogs. But she didn't have all them wrinkles. And she was tall and she was broad. Oh, she was really, really pretty, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> man. Some of these females, like, back in the days, played a real huge part in American Bully history. Showtime was one of those dogs, and she needs to be giving her props, just like y'all give Notorious Juan Gotti his props and Dax State props. Man, them dogs didn't even come. They wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Grandma Showtime. You know what I'm saying? Grandma Showtime, man, please, she put it down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandma Showtime, though, she put it down, man. So you got to give her props. You know, you can't take away the bitches from the lineage of these dogs and say that they was all created by boys. I mean, you, you know, there's some nice boys out there. You know what I'm saying? There's some nice studs out there. But these studs didn't make this line. A stud can't do nothing without a female. So, you know, Showtime, Grandma Showtime should be at the top of the list, man, of anything. You know what I'm saying? She herself got bred to a dog from a China gang. His name was Barney. Barney was a nice dog, too. You know what I'm saying? Barney was a nice dog. He was red. <clears throat> well, it looked like he was red. I could be wrong on his color. But it looked like he was red, and he was pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. China Gang's Barney. He bred to Showtime. Grandma Show. I'm going to just keep calling her Grandma Showtime. Because she, uh, man, I'm telling you, all these dogs y'all looking at, y'all really looking at Showtime. Y'all really looking at Showtime, man. Yeah, man. And and um, I didn't see his mother either. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see his mother either, man. Yeah, you know, and, and, and and a lot of these dogs didn't even have paperwork anyway. You know what I'm saying? What little you can find on the internet is what little the owners had. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just what little they had. But do you know what grandma showtime? You know, already the first out the gate. Already out the gate, she creating champions, already out the gate. Her and Barney, China China Gang's Barney, they they created Raider. Raider too. Mm-hmm. They went on here and created Raider 2. And you know Raider 2 was a bad dog. Nobody ever speaks about Barney. I am. What's up, Barney? China Gang's Barney. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't talk about Grandma Showtime. I don't know why you don't talk about Grandma Showtime, but she needs to be talked about. Because when Raider 2 came out, everybody wanted that Raider 2. Y'all wanted that Raider 2. Y'all wanted that Raider 2. And a lot of people came from a long way to get it. They were so in love with Razor's Edge. They were so in love. Everybody just loved Razor's Edge. Everybody just loved Grey Line. They were so in love. Now, those were old. Oh, let me see. I wouldn't say older people. You can't call somebody 10 years older than you older. You know what I'm saying? Especially when half of y'all is in your 30s already. 
You know what I mean? So I don't know about old, but you know, they were older people. You know what I'm saying? But Man Raider 2 looked just like his mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looked just like Showtime. Looked just like his mama. And he was one of the baddest dogs on the coast. He was one of the baddest dogs out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, there was another dog named Silver Satin. And I'm pretty sure that I read that Silver Satin and Raider 2 was brother and sister. Well, Showtime, you know what I'm saying, was uh, Silver Satin's mother. Grandma Showtime. She was Silver Satin's mother. And guess what? Grandma Showtime was Raider 2's mother. You just got through doing the brother-sister breeding. Now, you can do another brother-sister breeding. And it's all gray line. It's all gray line. Nobody ever would have said Dax was a gray line dog. I don't know. He might not be a gray line dog. Y'all took him and braided him to something else. But his genetics reads gray line. That's what his genetics read. Dax come from Grandma Showtime, too. Yeah, he do. You know? So Silver Satin bred to her brother. Her brother was Raider, too. You know what I'm saying? Boy, it gets deep over there. <laughs> Them people, that I know they had hell putting these dogs together. <laughs> they had hell. Man. Man. And let me tell you something. Don't you think that Showtime was the first dog? I just, I ain't going to tell you this. I just want to ask you this. Don't you think she was the first dog to bring out that blue trend? How many of y'all, if you know the dogs, or can probably name some different dogs that didn't come from Grey Line? How many of y'all can name a dog that started this blue trend? Older. The dog has to be older than Grandma Showtime. You can't name no dog. That was probably <laughs> blue or some or gray, older than Grandma Showtime, and it didn't have no gray line in it. Unless it was a Connie kind of Corso, you know, probably looked like something like that. But yeah, when you say that Grandma Showtime, on the West Coast at least, on the West Coast at least, when you say that Grandma Showtime was the first dog to start that blue trend, what dog was before Grandma Showtime that started that blue trend? What dog? Because now we're dealing with blues and we just came from black. These dogs originated from Black Bear. At least that's what it says on the pedigree. They originated from Black Bear. Black Bear had Diamond Jinx. And he bred the Starfire. They both black. And they, po <laughs> and they popped out with a gray dog. That, that gray dog really just like made damn near history by herself. And nobody mentions... Grandma Showtime. And she made damn near history by herself. She was the first one that was blue. I don't know. Maybe uh, Black Bear bred to a blue bitch. I don't know. Now, but now at the same time, Raider 2, he getting ready to breed to his sister. They got the same mother and different fathers. Gray line on top, gray line on bottom. I repeat. Gray line on the top, gray line on the bottom of, you know, Raider 2's pedigree and Starfire's pedigree because they came from a gray line, the, the gray line breeding, right? I mean, I'm, you know, that's what the pedigree say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't kill the messenger. That's what the pedigree say. Now, what you got up in that, in that, in that gumbo? What kind of, what y'all got up in this soup? You know how we always talk about blends. You know, this is the new era where you blend things. So you got some China Gangs Barney. You blend it in there, you know. And then you came with some Dela Cruz's uh, Crazy, Crazy Logue. Yeah, man. 
I ain't I didn't see I didn't see a picture of Crazy Low, but I bet you he was crazy. <laughs> crazy Low, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Man, I just like how the um dogs were were bred and, and you know what I'm saying? They actually took you know what I'm saying? Information down. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was all the information that they took down. You know, we, we if you want to, you can still use it to this day. You know, who I didn't who I didn't see a picture of when I checked. You know what I'm saying? These two. Um, <clears throat> who didn't I see a pic? I didn't see a picture of a lot of these dogs. But you know what I'm saying? These dogs right here is going to go down, man, in history, man. These are historical dogs, no matter how you look at it, no matter what you say. You know, they're going to go down in history for being historical dogs. Just the dogs that I already named off, you know, which were all gray line dogs or, you know, I don't know. But Grandma Showtime is in, is in everything. You know what I'm saying? She in everything. And you know what I mean? Right now, she probably just kicking back, enjoying all her offspring because everything that's out there came off of her. So, you know what I'm saying? She, she just enjoying her offspring right now on the West Coast. Watching y'all produce dogs that came from Grandma Showtime. You know what I'm saying? That got that blue coat because everybody wanted that blue and that gray coat. Well, Grandma Showtime made sure that you had that. You know what I'm saying? And she's still passing that coat till this day. So a lot of y'all blue coats came from Raider 2. And Raider 2 got his blue coat from Grandma Showtime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then guess what Raider 2 did? He ended up breeding to his sister, and there is a dog named Levi Blue up in there. And, yeah, he passed that blue down to him, Levi Blue. Sure did. He passed it down to him. Now, man, these – now, mind you, these blue dogs started off black. They started off black. They came from Black Beard and Diamond Jacks. You know what I'm saying? A big black dog with a white chest. I'm just only – you know, talking about dogs right now. I just like the history of dogs just going back. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I like to go way back. And, and you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, looking at stuff. Because there was a dog named Little Starfire. Little Starfire was, I think, Diamond Jack's mother on the pedigree. You know? I couldn't find a picture of her, you know? But I do, I would like to know who turned Showtime gray. I really would. I would like to know who turned Showtime gray if her parents was black. Well, I can only see one parent that was black. But who turned Showtime gray? How did Showtime turn gray? I would like to know the answer to that question. You know what I'm saying? And shit, just like I said, man, if y'all giving Gotti, because I love Juan Gotti. I'm dope, man. If Gotti was a badass dog. But you can't give Gotti all the, all, the, all the credit, man. Gotti didn't put this breed down. There was dogs before him. You know what I'm saying? You know, there was dogs from, in, in, in the American bully history that made Gotti. You know what I'm saying? That made Black Jack. Black Jack was a gray line dog. So what? Uh, Black Jack was a gray line dog. He had more gray line in him than anything else. He was a gray. <laughs> they ain't gonna. Lie. Some people ain't gonna like that. No, he was a small dog. He he used to produce pockets. You know what I'm saying? But wouldn't it be right that that Levy Blue be mentioned in history? Levy Blue. Gray lines. Levy Blue. Wouldn't it be down? Wouldn't it be right that he go down as a historical dog too? Levy Blue. Yeah, man, that's real bully shit right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Showtime is like, Grandma Showtime is like the queen originator of the whole American bully breed. Grandma Showtime. Damn. Who is it safe to say that Grandma Showtime is like the queen of the bully breed? Probably on the West Coast. Probably on, on, the, on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Because Showtime 
she put it down, man. That's all I can say. She put it down. You know what I'm saying? But and then Levi 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 Blue, he bred to a dog named Athena. Huh? Levi Blue. Remember, he blue now. They come from a line of gray dogs. And he just go breed to a dog named Athena. They breed to a dog named Athena. It's another gray line breed. That's where y'all get uh, Boom Boom. Hmm? Boom, boom Boom is on the ground now. Levi Blue just bred to Athena. And Boom Boom is on the ground now. Yeah. Boom Boom just, just showed up. I don't ever hear nobody praising Boom Boom. You know, she she was a dog that was before Juan Gotti. Yeah, Boom Boom was. Boom Boom was before Juan Gotti. Shit. They don't never praise her like they praise the notorious Juan Gotti. We love the notorious Juan Gotti. You know what I'm saying? But Boom Boom was there. And you know what? Boom Boom produced a whole lot of good dogs. Dogs that ain't nobody even mentioning yet. But she produced them. Grandma Showtime is all up in that pedigree. Raider 2, Black, Black Bear. Y'all don't even know nothing about these dogs. You know what I'm saying? Now, Raider 2, yeah, Gray Lines Raider 2. Man, he was a pretty dog. Very handsome looking dog. You know? I mean, a lot of people like dogs. You, you know how you want to walk down the street with your dog? And if the dog is just a handsome dog, you, you like that. So when people tell you that your dog looks good, you got a nice looking dog, man. I like that dog. Yeah, that's because he's really handsome. He's really pretty. You know, a boy dog ain't pretty. He's just a handsome dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's how Gray Lines Raider 2 was. He was just handsome. You know? He just knew he was he was just <laughs> he just knew he was the stuff. He knew he was cool, man. So he just walked down the street. You know what I'm saying? He was feeling real energetic. Just walking down the street. But can you see, you know what I'm saying? He had body on him. You know what I'm saying? He was tall and muscular. He had body on him, nice neck. Anybody want to fight him, he can get out right now. He'll get out too. You know what I'm saying? He had a white chest on him. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at him, his front legs on the inside of him, they had white. But on the, on the, on the down part, you know what I'm saying? On the outside part of him, it was gray. He was a badass looking dog. And, he, you know, this before God. This before Gotti. Gotti was a badass dog, too. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't tell you how Gotti got here. Raider 2 was in there, man. And we didn't even see all the good things that Raider 2 did. We didn't even get to see all the things that Raider 2 did, man. I'm telling you, his mama was Showtime. That's who his mama was. And she was, you know, she had them white legs and white fronts, too. You know what I'm saying? Them almond-shaped eyes. You know what I'm saying? The Gray Line has some beautiful dogs, man. Gray Line has some beautiful dogs. I love them dogs. Every single time I looked at them, man, Mr. Moore, we love your dogs, man. They so beautiful. Rest in peace, man, to Mr. Moore and his brother that's still alive doing his thing, man. We love them dogs. Them some beautiful dogs, man. Them some beautiful dogs. Now, you know what I'm saying? They ain't, these people ain't never seen Cali Love. They have never seen Gray Lines Cali Love. Now you got Gray Lines Cali Love going to Gray Lines Raider 2. This a whole Gray Line reading. Everything Gray Line. Y'all want to know where uh, 21 Blackjack come from? He ain't no pit bull and all this old crazy shit. He, he come off Gray Line. Yeah, he got some of Grandma on Showtime off in him. Man, please. I'm telling you, man. Man, and then the list goes on. You know what I'm saying? Because Raider 2 getting ready to breed to Cali Love. Now, this is going to be an incredible breeding right here because one of the best things that ever happened to American Bully history happened on this breeding right here. You know, Cali Love was a beautiful dog. She was like a reddish, finest dog with that white chest. She had nice ears, a blocky head. Oh, man. She was, man. 
Man, the Cali Love and Raider 2 breeding was the one of the best breedings in American bully history. But it, they, they wasn't bullies. They was like, you know, their own little thing, gray line. You know what I'm saying? They was gray line dogs. And when they bred, man, that's where the notorious Juan Gotti came from. He was he was now on the ground. Cali Love was whelping a litter of puppies. And it was more hitters in there than Juan Gotti. It's just Juan Gotti made it, you know, to the top. He was the one that they featured out there like that. Oh, man, he was beautiful, wasn't he? He was in that litter right there with the Cali Love. And Raider, too. You know what I'm saying? And he came out, and I'm telling you, man, for a minute, <laughs> he shut the game down. There was not like nothing nobody could say about that dog. When they seen that dog, Richard Barajas had done some shit in there. He, cause you know, this was rich and this was, you know, Grayline. Man, shout out to Richard Barajas and shout out to Grayline, bruh. For real. I mean that, like really. Shout out to Richard Barajas. And shout out to Great Line, man. You know, I know the bully game and took a whole new direction. And dogs don't look like y'all dogs no more. You know what I mean? But we still like your dog. I love your dogs. But a lot of people out here still like your dogs. They don't look like y'all dogs no more. They don't. You know what I'm saying? They they ain't tall like Great Line. You'll never see another Cali love. You know what I'm saying? You'll never see. You know, and then after, after that breeding came some old stuff, you know, that I could have kept going on and on and on because they had more dogs, man. They had dogs all up and down, and they had pretty dogs. But you know what I'm saying? To to just and that wasn't even the uh the it, man. It was just like they had so many pretty dogs. It was it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Yeah. So when we do this breeding, we come back, and it's just like now you want to look at all the dogs that's in the top side of this pedigree right here. You know what I'm saying? I had to grab these dogs' names real quick. You got China Gang's Barney, Tony Showtime, Gray Lines Raider 2, Crazy Low. Silver uh, Satin, which is a dog from Gray Line. Levy Blue, which is another dog from Gray Line. These are all family dogs. All family dogs, bro. These are all family dogs. You feel what I'm saying? Like they took the whole family and just kept breeding brother and sister. You know what I'm saying? Um. Not only did they do that, but now they take, out of all these dogs, they just had the notorious Juan Gotti, the most notorious dog out here right now. They take Gotti and breed him to his sister. They breed Gotti to his sister. Her name was Callie Blues Doja. No, no, matter of fact, hold up. They take Gotti... My bad, my bad, my bad. And breed him back to Boo Boo. <laughs> yeah, they breed him back to Boo Boo. Yeah, they did. They bred him back to Boo Boo. Now, I think Boo Boo was like his aunt or something like that. Yeah. Hey, they breed, they breed, they breed Gotti back to Boo Boo. Look at all this family, man. It's all family work right here, man. All family work. They breed Gotti to Boo Boo, right? They breed Gotti the Boo Boo and they create, they create Golden Blue, Golden's Blue Rhino. You know he blue. He blue. Gotti blue. Mostly all the dogs in his pedigree blue, except the dogs that started his pedigree. Keep it real. The dogs that started Gotti's pedigree, they wasn't blue. Black Bear wasn't blue. He was black. You know what I'm saying? So now they, 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 they just breed Golden's Blue Rhino. 
And then they breed uh, Cali Blues Doja. Rhino and Doja is brother and sister. They brother and sister. Okay? Rhino is blue. Doja looked like she like white, mostly white. And she looked like she had some patches on her. She could have been a, you know, a piebald dog. She could have been a piebald dog. But she was white. You know what I'm saying? And from that breeding right there, Dax was produced. Dax come from a list of blue dogs. On the top side of that pedigree from the West Coast pedigree. Because I there's a lot of dogs that I probably left out on the bottom side. But those dogs wasn't gray line. That's why I left them out. They was like dogs that, you know, some some of the homies dogs. You know, but since they wasn't gray line, they was basically being used as outcrosses. But when you look at the whole pedigree of Gotti, I mean of Dax, who came from Gotti, Dax was a gray line dog. The bully world wouldn't say that. They say he was a bully. Well, he is much, much shorter than the dogs that he came from. That's for sure. We know that for sure. When you look on the internet and you look at these dogs, you look at the pedigree of these dogs, uh, of Dax, and you look at the dogs behind them, they was hella big. Those are some big old dogs, man. You came from a gray line dog, brody. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to make this... Um, Dog out to be, you know, America's top number one dog, but he don't look like where he came from. He don't look shit like where he came from. And maybe that's where, you know, because I was told about the split. I wasn't there when that split happened between Richard Barajas and um, Ed Shepard. You know, in 